Welcome back, computer scientists. In the first part of the book, Ruby discovers that her dad's computer mouse isn't working. She decides to help Mouse find his buddy Cursor by shrinking herself and going inside the computer. What do you predict will happen to Ruby? What will she see? Let's go. Chapter 3 Electricity and Bits Downward and inward, Ruby falls until she finally lands in a big hall with billions of glittering little bits. It's dazzling, Ruby exhales. What's happening here? Oh, they're bits. They go on and off, on and off, all the time. Everything in a computer is built on bits. It's Mr. Electricity who's in charge here, explains Mouse. Should we start looking for Cursor? Ruby suggests. Bits won't be any help. Try talking. Trying to talk directly with bits is too tiresome. They only talk in ones and zeros, and it takes at least eight of them working together to say anything more than a yes or a no. We need to get to the next level. Mouse answers impatiently. Chapter 4, Logic Gates. Ruby and Mouse climb up the ladder and peek over the top. Mouse points out a door in the far wall. Through there, we should be able to get some help. But there is a series of strange formations and gates in the way. Ruby and Mouse try to sneak quietly past them, but they are spotted. Hi there. If you want to go through the gates, you have to solve our riddles first. Answer either true or false. We practice logic and reason all the time. Ruby is prepared to take up the challenge. She marches up to the first gate. I have eyes and a mouth. True. I am not green. False. I have legs or a tail. True. Very good, Ruby. Now we can play another game. It's called exclusive or. No, Ruby, let's run. We'll take the shortcut, Mouse whispers. Chapter 5, Computer Architecture. I know who we can ask for help, says Mouse, the CPU. But he's very bossy and I'm afraid to interrupt him. Even from afar, they can hear someone shouting commands. Fetch, decode, store, next! Ruby walks straight up to the CPU and tries to act very professional. Are you the boss here? Yes, I am the CPU of the computer. I tell others what to do. I am very fast and right now I'm extremely busy. Mr. CPU, cursor isn't working today. Have you seen him around? The CPU looks confused. I don't know. It's not my job to remember everything. I'm very busy making decisions. You better talk to GPU. Cursor is her assistant. Welcome! Come look at my beautiful creations. My secret is mathematical precision, GPU exhales. No sign of cursor here, says Mouse. Here comes Ram. Let's ask her, says Mouse. Ram is panting. I'm so hot. Why are you running all the time, asks Ruby. CPU and GPU keep bossing me. It's always me who needs to fetch every little detail for mass storage, says Ram, and continues running. We have a problem. Cursor has been missing all day, explains Ruby. Do you remember what happened? Check mass storage. He remembers everything. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted and my head is all empty. Ruby walks up to mass storage. Ruby, you won't find Cursor here in the hardware department. You'll need to go to the software department, he explains, sounding very friendly and wise. 